Hello, today I'm going to be sharing some books on coral reefs for kids. Uh, my kids and I just finished a unit study on the ocean and we spent one week learning about the coral reefs and I want to share with you some of the books that we used uh, for our coral reef unit study. Um, so I have this one, Coral Reefs by Gail Gibbons. Um, Gail Gibbons has tons and tons of non-fiction books um, and they're all very clear and the illustrations are pretty and fun. Um, I sort of uh, vary on how much I like them. I think sometimes they can make the subject seem a little bit drier than they are. Um, this wasn't my favorite for the writing, but I do love the illustrations in this one. So this is Coral Reefs. Then we have The Brilliant Deep, Rebuilding the World's Coral Reefs by Kate Messner and Matthew Forsyth. Um, this is another beautiful book and it tells the story of um, an effort by uh, one individual to restore coral reefs that were dying off. Um, so I really liked how this one showed how one person can make an impact on the environment. I found that really inspirational and I think my kids did too. Um, and again, beautifully illustrated, nice way to learn about coral reefs. Then we have Coral Reefs by Jason Shin. This was probably my favorite book that we read this week. Um, and this one tells about coral reefs um, and their ecology, the animals that live there, and about coral itself. And I mean, these illustrations are just fantastic. And the writing is really engaging. Um, just an absolute beautiful book. Coral Reefs, Jason Chen. Then I have Who Eats What? Again, this is one of those let's read and find out science books, which I recommend over and over again on my channels. On my channel, uh, they are always really well written and clear and engaging. And I they have a variety of illustrators, but I think whoever illustrates it, they always choose somebody that um, makes fun, warm illustrations. So um, this one is not just about the ocean though, which, uh, the cover makes you think it's going to be an ocean book, but it's about food chains in general. Um, I did know that when I bought it. I just thought the coral reefs were a good place to, uh, to talk about uh, food chains, and they do um, look at ocean food chains in the book. So, who eats what? Then I have parrotfish and sunken ships exploring a tropical reef and this is by Jim Arnosky uh, who's one of my favorite children's books book writers and illustrators um, I really like this one in that it's a narrative it's the story of uh, Jim and his wife Diana going out on their little boat um, exploring a coral reef and you learn about the coral reef uh, but I really like how you're learning about it through the story of their exploration and their day out. Um, it just makes it more engaging and interesting. So, and again, beautifully illustrated. Then I got for my kids this Ralph Masello's Ocean Drawing Book. Um, I got one of these in the past by the same um, author illustrator about... Uh, ancient Egypt and they loved that one and used it a lot. Um, they didn't use this one quite as much as they liked that Egypt one, but I still think it's pretty cool and maybe they'll come back to it. So just another fun way to engage with the subject. And then I also got then the Great Barrier Reef coloring book. And um, for this one, I had them share it and I just made photocopies of each page so that uh, they didn't have to fight over who got to color each one. And then they can keep using it. So, and I really like, these are by Dover and I buy these pretty often for our different units. I really like how they have information about what you're drawing. 
at the bottom of each page. So Great Barrier Reef Coloring Book. And then I want to share a few books that we used for every week of our unit and um, then show you the parts we used for this week. So this is Ocean Anatomy. We use this each week. This is by Julia Rothman. I just pulled out my bookmark there. Um, so we use this section, Reef Madness, for our Coral Reef Week. Um, it has lots of good information, but we especially like the, this book for its illustrations. Uh, we do notebooking pages every day uh, for school, and these are really great because they have these simple outlines. They're really good for copying into our notebooks. Uh, so if we, you know, we want to get a picture of the um, C pen in our notebook, we can look at that and do that kind of illustration and color it in with pencil and have good results. So, so yeah, we really like using these. This ocean anatomy. Uh, another one that we use each week is the First Encyclopedia of Seas and Oceans. This is by Osborne Publishing. Um, this one's cool because it's internet linked. So there are, if you go to the accompanying website, there's a list of YouTube videos and other links that go with each page. Um, so it's a really nice way to further explore the material that you get in the book. So this is, the, we looked at the coral reefs pages and coral reef animals living together on a coral reef and so on. So that's a great jumping off point. And then we also use Sea Under the Sea for each week. So this one has a nice page on tropical waters and coral reefs. Um, and this is a lift the flap. So nice for younger learners, kinesthetic learners, just kids who want to be able to interact a little bit more with the material. And we have 1,000 Things Under the Sea. Uh, we use this each week too, just to look up more about what we're learning. And this is also a nice one to color from. Here's our coral reef page. Uh, and really fun uh, illustrations and a great way to further explore the topic. All right, thank you. I put all of the links below. They are Amazon affiliate links. So if you use those links to buy any of these books, you'll pay the same, but it will also help support my YouTube channel. So thanks and I'll be back soon with more ocean videos.